Hey guys, I just got through waxing some frames with the right cell in it. Thought, well, I might as well make a video because you see a lot of comments on YouTube or Facebook about how to get them to draw out plastic foundation or they won't draw out plastic foundation. And this is the way I get it done. This is just rendered wax that I've run through a solar wax melter. Basically, you just break it up in pieces big enough to get maximum contact with the bottom of the pan because it'll melt faster that way. These are, this is the last batch I ran last year, so I didn't have a chance to really break it up before I put it up because like an idiot, knowing that I need this to be melted from my swarm traps and I also need to melt some to put on what few frames I need to make up for honey this year, but this is just a simple way to do it. You break it up, get maximum circumference on the bottom of the pan. Actually, I brought me it up so it'll just fit on the bottom of the pan. That's what you're looking at. I don't do a lot of honey, so the wife says I've got customers that need to be kept in the honey, so I've got two honey yards, but that's it. Sells good in the winter when I can't sell bees, but I'd rather sell queens and newts. What I'll do is I'll take this in there. Straighten the camera up a little bit. I'll take this into the workshop, put it on my little 2i electric burner. I wouldn't use a something like a Coleman outdoor camping stove because that propane, if this bubbles and pops up, if you cook it a little bit too high, on too high heat, it'll pop. It can boil over. You might be able to, well, I've got one. I'll just show you what I'm talking about. You know, if you've got it on here, it can boil over and slip pour out it's just completely unsafe i would not use one of these to melt wax that's your safety tip for the day i wear safety glasses when i handle the wax when i'm bringing it in of course the pan will be hot i've got a glove the reason this is already out here i've already done a couple of supers and put them in the truck but i'm gonna melt some more we'll show you that in just a little bit but like i said don't use one of these you're just asking to get burnt catch fire you know how we all are in today's day and age we've got so much going on you start it phone rings you step outside take the phone next thing you know you burnt the house or your workshop or whatever down so don't use one of these to melt wax please we'll be back shortly with the finishing of how to paint them all right guys we're back went in and got our pan of molten wax Basically, all I've done is just broke off a couple of chunks of the wax I've rendered through the solar wax melter. I'll link that video down below. Already got a honeybee flying around. They love to smell them molten wax. Like I said, they started, started drawing on this prior to last year, but the honey flow or the nectar flow crashed on me and they didn't draw them out. So I'm just re-waxing, they repurposed the wax I brushed on them last year, but this is one surefire way to get them to draw a right cell out, any of the plastic foundation. Something about that real wax and I know it's supposedly real wax that they wax these with this is my easy way to get them to draw out right cell acorn whatever you choose to use it's easier if you've got a roller and therein lies my problem I'm not a big honey producer I 
I am not a big honey producer. I'm all about newts and queens. And that being said, I do a little bit of honey. The wife won't let me stop doing a little bit of honey. You can see where they've drawn out across the top. Just wax what they haven't drawn out. She says I've got honey customers that I've built up before I decided to start selling nukes and queens, so I need to continue doing a little bit of honey to keep those folks happy. To me, honey's just that sticky stuff that gets in my way. It sure is good on coffee, or good in coffee, and it sells in the wintertime when you can't sell bees. That's it. That's just as simple as it is. Just throwing some wax on there. And if you don't have wax, if you're a new beekeeper, you're wanting to use plastic, find you an old beekeeper, find somebody on Amazon, YouTube, in your bee club that might have some wax to sell you or give you. Most of your beekeepers might actually give you some because they don't have a lot of use for it. I'm dragging out, I don't know, about 10 honey supers to finish off. Anyway, that's as simple as it is. Safety precaution, glasses, in case it splatters. I use a glove once I bring it off the little electric cook stove. I wouldn't recommend using an open flame like a campaign or a, a Coleman propane torch or, or not torch, but a uh, outdoor camping stove because if that wax bubbles over, you could cook it too hot on one of those and it pops over, you can start a fire. I do mine out here in the outside. Of course, just right inside the, the workshop is the little stove, but that's it. Simple as it is. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. Like and subscribe and share.